Hey, so my name is John Easton Simmons. I'm gonna be discussing my paper that I have wrote. It is called, If the Pro If I Was a Project Manager. I wrote this on 4-25-2022 for my construction management and quality and HR class. <clears throat> Starting off, we were asked if, uh, how we would address a massive shortage of skilled workers in our rapidly growing industry. So to start off in my paper, I showed a graph of how the um, unemployment rate has drastically dropped in the past year or so. Um, <clears throat> it was high, but we have fallen farther than what we were back in 2012 and even possibly 2014. Um, basically in this first paragraph I summarize what's been going on and how everybody's wanting to buy buildings and get everything built right now um, everybody just has money that they seem to just be throwing at the construction industry and it's kind of hard for us to keep up especially with such a low amount of laborers that we cannot ha that we don't have and it's hard to find laborers um so basically with everybody being lazy is what sums up the people in today's society. Um, this brings up the question of how would you address the, so the shortage of skilled workers in this industry? You know, how could we get more workers? Um, I feel like there are many ways of going about this. Um, a lot of companies recently, like you can see like Hardee's and Bojangles and all them fast food restaurants have been offering to pay their workers like $15 an hour, you know, crazy prices just to uh, do a low skill job, um, which I feel like is definitely a way to get more employees. Like if they need them, I guess if that's the way they want to do it, that's how they can do it. Um, I think another important way of keeping employees or getting employees is just having a good name for yourself, um, being nice to people, um, etc. Like there's, you can do so many things, give people good benefits, but, uh, I don't know. I continued on in the paper writing about that. And then I kind of went into the steps of how I would attract, train and retain the workers. So, for attracting workers, I pretty much say, or I went with like maybe a recruitment kind of style, um, going to schools or like high schools and having like a presentation about this job, showing like the things that my workers have, like they've worked hard and they, I'm sure people that work hard every day have n nicer things than a high school student or college student. So I feel like if I showed like kind of like my workers lifestyle, it would affect high schoolers and college kids to want that and strive to be on my job site to create a better life for themselves. Um, <clears throat> following that, training the workers. Um, I know training can be difficult because everybody learns in different ways, but I stated in the next paragraph that I would start by letting them shadow myself until they understood what was going on at the job site and then once they kind of got the gist of everything, I'd put them with like a good worker of mine. And I'd also make sure that that worker knew he was training this person and to be um, patient with them and to ask a lot of questions, communicate well, and then hopefully that'll get the new worker to, through the training stage and uh, <clears throat> hopefully affect them in a good way to want to stay. Following that, retaining the employees is an important step because you always want to keep the employees because you don't want to keep going back and training new guys, training new guys constantly because it's just going to slow you down. If you have a lot of guys that know what they're doing, it's better off to keep them there. So the way I figured retaining would basically be an attitude thing, like always be eager to learn even from the new guys because just because you've been doing a job for four year, 40 years or 10 years or however long, you still might not know everything as good as somebody knew that they might know a better way. So always be eager to learn from them, accept like 
ideas that they have and things like that because if you're nice somebody word of mouth will travel and then not only will that like help your business be known as good people but it'll also help um workers want to come to work for you and then following all that pretty much said like um how there's I kind of stated just saying that being with your employees is important you know having a good relationship um kind of I talked about how the labor shortage affected the financial health of the business because it would cause a lot of inflation um future programs that I would do and I also talked about how I would manage a job site when I actually do become a worker. So thanks.